We're talking about rational numbers in this unit. Algebra 1, number 2.2a, showing a number is rational. So the word rational comes from the word ratio. We can actually see the word ratio underlined in the word rational, can't we? And any number that can be written as a quotient or a ratio is a rational number. They can be positive or negative, and positive rational numbers look like a positive fraction, like just a regular simple fraction. A negative rational number can be written three different ways. We can put the negative sign in the middle, in the front of it, like this. We can put the negative sign on top with the numerator, or the negative sign can be with the denominator down below. See? As long as the denominator is not zero, then it's a rational number, okay? So here's the formal definition. A rational number is any number that can be expressed as the ratio of two integers, like a over b, where b is not equal to zero, and it's called a rational number. So what this means is that it's any number that can be written as a simple fraction as long as the denominator is not zero. That's all. So to show that a number is rational, we need to find a way of naming it as a ratio of two integers, of naming it as a fraction. Remember, integers are positive and negative whole numbers. So 4 can be expressed as 4 over 1. That means 4. 3.7 can be expressed as 37 over 10. 30 over 10 is a 3. And we add the 7 tenths left over. That's in the tenths place. So we have 37 over 10, 37 tenths. Negative 2.9 can be expressed as negative 29 tenths. 20 over 10 is the 2 and 9 tenths. So we get 29 tenths, and it's a negative because of the negative sign. Negative 7 hundredths can be expressed as the negative sign in front of 7 over 100. See? And even 0.33 with a repeating 3. It's a repeating decimal. It is a rational number. If we put 3 into 1, we get 0.3333, and it continues on, doesn't it? Because we keep getting a 9 and a 10 and 9 and 10. And we keep doing the subtraction and getting 1 and dropping down another 0. But it is a rational number because it's one third of 1. It can be written as a simple fraction. Now, some numbers are not rational. They can't be written as a simple fraction. And pi is not rational. As a decimal, it goes on forever. We got 3.14159926. It just keeps going and going, doesn't it? We can't write this as a simple fraction. And we're going to talk about this in Unit 2.6 coming up soon. So just remember, there's some numbers that are not rational. They're actually called irrational. And we'll talk about that coming up, okay? So those are showing a number is rational. And we're going to continue on to 2.2b. We're going to talk about defining rational numbers, okay? I'll see you there. Bye.